Today, Ministry of External Affairs has expressed shock and surprise over the verdict given by the Qatar court to the eight Indian Navy veterans. The court has given that they are going to give the death penalty to all these eight veterans. Well, this death sentence is definitely a shocking news, but not only to the Ministry of External Affairs, but to every Indian here. Although everyone has woke up this news today, but this case has started in the year 2022 on the night of August 30th. On this night, all these eight veterans were arrested from the sleep. About this arrest, they were they haven't informed this to the Indian diplomats or to the embassy. In September 2022, these people were given a chance to inform their families through a phone call about their arrest. And on 3rd October 2022 only, the Indian embassy was given a chance to meet. So after this 3rd October incident, the case has been going on. And about this, in the parliament also, there were many questions that were raised. To this, Jai Shankar of Minister for External Affairs has said that this case involves questions of security of the country. That is why the reasons cannot be disclosed. From then on, the case was going on. The surprise is that why now? Why this was the time used by the Qatar in order to bring India to this situation? There can be five reasons for it. One, Timing and allegations are important. Can we link this thing to the ongoing Israel and Palestine issue? Well, definitely, because Modi ji was one of the first leaders in order to condemn the Hamas attack on the Israel. Although after that, there was clarification that India is taking a stand on the same two-nation theory, and also it has sent the humanitarian aid to the Palestine. So this shows that this death sentence can be reduced because India is maintaining the neutral position like before so that the Qatar government need not bargain India for its pro-Palestine approach. The second possibility is that Qatar wants to derail the Abraham Accord that is being between the UAE and the Israel. And also India has been aligned or showing the tilt of axis with the UAE's concern. So the Qatar felt that it may be derailed in this accord or maybe this power, these three people, that is the accord between UAE and Israel will go stronger and Qatar may be left out. So in order to derail this Abraham Accord, there it would have brought the situation or it would have brought this case to the stand today. Third, Qatar perhaps views the India, Middle East and European corridor with suspicion and because its allies like Pakistan and China has been not invited, so this type of corridor, it want to derail India from this. Fourth is that India has been not allowing the funds which were coming from the Islamic countries to come as NGOs into India. So probably it will bargain with India in order to open the tabs for funds to be brought into India. Fifth, the fear that India is getting assertive and this was properly shown during the India-Canada row where India has expelled as 41 of its diplomats and the accusations that were done by the Canada PM that India is using their land in order to target the terrorists. The same thing is being blamed by the Pakistan also regarding the raw agents. So all these things it want to show on the world stage so that India does not grow assertive in nature. Whatever may be the reasons, this cannot be a shock that they will be given a death sentence, but yet they will be used as a big pawns in order to bargain for something or the other. Death sentence will be used as a pawn in order to bargain for the other things, but definitely they may not be given a death sentence. Well, can this death sentence be reduced to any other sentence? Probably because India can use its diplomatic relations with Qatar in order to reduce this death sentence or maybe pardon may be given to them. All this can be known on April 18th, which is considered to be the Qatar day. On that day, probably they will pardon or try to reduce the sentence to all these Indians. Because Qatar cannot afford to derail the relationship with India because around 8 million diaspora of India stays in Qatar, as well as India is a fourth trading partner with Qatar and we have around 50 million dollars of trade with them. So seeing all these aspects, probably this will be used as a big fish in order to bargain with India and we can see that they might be given a another kind of verdict in the courts of Qatar.